Hi Leo, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your Is It In The Cards Love Tarot reading for June 2022. This is a love reading for all Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to everybody for all the support. And if you are new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. Fridays are always a general reading. So if you're looking for other, you know, advice regarding a career or other areas of your life, Fridays are a good day to check out. But on Monday, the readings are a different style every week. So this is the only love reading that I do. Uh, other weeks, it could be a more detailed Celtic cross style reading. And I've also added a law of attraction tarot card reading. So on Mondays. So if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. What advice do you have for Leo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus about love, please. What does Leo need to know about love for the best and highest good of all concerned with Leo? Messages for Leo. <clears throat> All right, so we'll start here. We're going to draw three cards to represent your energy, three cards for the person you're attracting, three cards in the advice. Your energy is the Emperor, the King of Wands, and the Four of Wands. Their energy is the Lovers, the Five of Pentacles, Three of Swords. Your advice is the Seven of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, Six of Cups. <coughs> Pardon me on that. Um, raining a little bit. Really beautiful. You've got Gemini Aries here. You've, de you've definitely got... Fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. You've got earth, water, and a little bit of air there. I feel like with this person, if it's, if it's, you do have reconciliation here. Let's just put that out there. Um, for those of you, I, I feel like they have a bit of a, you know, they're mending a broken heart or they're really, they're really going to be serious about a commitment. And with your energy, I mean, this is magnetic. So you have a marriage card here, by the way. Um, with the Emperor being here, though, the Emperor actually, it makes you a great partner, even though it's Aries energy. It's, he's the father of the tarot, but he is absolutely committed to his Empress. He holds this staff. This represents Venus, right? It represents love. And it also represents his Empress because what he does, he does for her. So the Emperor's the architect of the tarot. So I feel like you're going to attract somebody who is going to be a great match you have such a dynamic energy here with the King of Wands also. That King has you in a place too where your confidence is extra high. And not in an arrogant way, but I do feel like you're going to be having this magnetism or charisma. Now, with the King of Wands there too, some of you may feel like, you, you know, that you're, you're focused on yourself. You're investing in yourself. Uh, mind, body, spirit, okay? So some of you, if you're really physically working out, you're really being health conscious and wanting to be in the best physical shape in terms of, you know, entering a partnership and feeling good about your the physical body. I see that quite strongly here. It's There's a lot of evidence of that. Now that four of wands is a wonderful energy. It's a Hindu wedding ceremony. So it adds kind of a Zen-like twist to this. You've got these two Oh, you know, really powerful, dominant energies with that, the king and the emperor. Um, and with that four of wands, it brings in the unity, the celebration. So I do feel like you have a soulmate connection here. I d reconciliation is very strong here. However, with the ace of wands, I'd say there's a, you know, you've got a new person here too. So with the four of wands, law of attraction, energy, and synchronicity, you will be in the right place at the right time. And I do feel like it all begins with your focus on yourself, raising your own vibration, being in a place where you feel good about every area. Because there's nothing worse than when somebody doesn't have their own life together and they go out in search of a relationship, right? This is saying that you're in the place where you are, you're available. You're available emotionally. You've got maturity here. And so I definitely feel like you're going to be attracting um, easily with this, attracting people in e very easily. So their energy is kind of interesting. Could be a Gemini here. They have the lovers, so I love to see that here. But with the five of pentacles and the three of swords, I definitely feel like they've had some kind of a challenging ending uh, for sure. Now, for some of you, uh, on the love front, I get that the ending for them may have been some type of betrayal. 
um, there was either a breakup or a betrayal. And I do feel like it, it could have been a divorce. I mean, it feels serious. Like it wasn't just a series of, you know, little relationships where they had trust issues. This feels like it was a pretty sig significant ending. But with the Three of Swords, that's acceptance. So it's not somebody who is still living in the past relationship where they're bringing their ex along into a new relationship. So I do feel like they've, with the Five of Pentacles too, distanced themselves um, from people who were in, related to that relationship. You know, if it was, they, they're not going to go over and be visiting their, their ex's family and hanging out with them. If you've ever seen situations like that where they're still really close to the, the friends and family of the ex, I feel like they've made an entire shift. Um, they're ready for, with the lovers being here, a life partner. They're, and they realize too, I do feel like part of that is very intentional where they realize that would be damaging to a new relationship. That would not be something that most people would find attractive. Now, I will tell you though, in terms of reconciliation, the lovers is also called the choice in some decks. And it's that choice to work through situations, to know that the love is worth it. Because I'll tell you, the love is still here. For those of you that are asking about reconciliation, it's energy. Love is energy. It doesn't get created or destroyed. It just is. And so it's all about that alignment and lining up with the energy. And I will say too, for reconciliation people, this person's been very heartbroken over this. Whether they've communicated that or not, I do feel like they had quite a, a heaviness, you know, real heaviness in their heart. They may not have gone out and dated anybody, or even if it looked like they were trying to, it wasn't with any real interest. It was more for show. I mean, that's what it feels like. Somebody who's trying to put on an act to make things seem like they're better than they are. Um, so I do feel like with this person, they do want to make things right. They want a second chance. And they really do want to be in love. And so you may find too with the uh, lovers being here, somebody here is having vivid dreams and it might be them dreaming about you. So if you reconnect and they say, I had a dream about you, they're not making that up. Somebody here is having lots of dream interpretations, lots of dream communication. Um, and that's, a you know, that's their subconscious. That's the subconscious, which is represented by the lovers. Well, so I do love this, um, you know, especially if it's been a weight with that seven of pentacles. Sevens are successful conclusions in the tarot. So even if there's been a delay, there's been a waiting period. I Again, I feel like you've both used your time wisely. You've used your time to invest in yourselves. I didn't mention with that other person's energy, but I did get this. For somebody, it might have been a financial um, something difficult happened with the end of, of a job. So it might not be, for those of you that's a new person, might not have been a divorce or it could have been something it feels like with their career ending. But either way, I do want to say that they're ready to be in something. They've done what they've needed to do to get themselves in the place where they would be a good partner. So with the Ace of Wands, it's going to be a relationship where you're drawn together. There's great chemistry. There's intimacy. There's excitement. And with the Ace of Wands, you can't wait to be together. You know, you're full of this energy where you want to go off and do things together, find out about each other. And the Ace of Wands, too, can be an apology. So those of you that it is reconciliation with the Six of Cups, Ace of Wands, that's strongly represented here. And it's that olive branch. It's how, do, where do we begin where do we begin again? How do we do this? You know, and I feel like the, this person will have a very open mind. Those of you that are asking about reconciliation, but the six of cups, that can be an energy, um, a card of, of past, past connections coming forward. Okay. So I do again, feel like that's there for somebody. That's definitely what they're talking about. If you've been waiting, wondering what's going to happen with this, but I will say with the six of cups, it's also telling you that this is going to be a very balanced relationship regardless, okay? Even as a new relationship with that Ace of Wands, it's going to have real love. And that's the Six of, of Cups is a beautiful energy for really having a thoughtful relationship, one that's built on trust and love and a true partnership. So what else here does Leo need to know, please, about love? Messages for Leo.
Advice for Leo about love. All right, you've got success, okay? That reminds me of the chariot. Just that whole idea of things moving forward. The situation will improve, they say. And you've got to listen to your intuition. So, you know, meditate, quiet that mind down because you've got the confidence and the magnetism. Now, they say a year from now, but don't let that scare you off. It doesn't mean you won't meet anybody. It's To me, it's more like in a year from now, you're going to be leaving me comments that you're married. You know, it's more a year from now, you'll be blown away because they do give you a yes. So I would say too, yes, it is in the cards, Leo. Sorry, I waited so long to tell you that. Yes, it's in the cards. I love you and I'll be back again soon.